I have finished the second week of the solo artist curriculum. The first unit is figure drawing and in week two I continued following Proko's free version of his figure drawing course and attempting time gesture poses. Week two's expectations were met with some disappointment. After working for one week and seeing some early games, with of course a lot of room to improve, it was very frustrating to start week two and grapple with those terrible one-minute drawings. It felt like as Proko's videos added a little bit more structure, I got into this confusion and I would neither capture the gesture nor the structure. I persisted with the gesture session with more one minute and then two minute poses. Here, with more time, I try to incorporate a bit of the structure and it's marginally better. But the lines are bad, there's no story, no fluidity. Again, I try to use some of the structure with a colored pencil to help here, but overall I felt mostly deflated after this session. This five minute drawing is the only drawing that I liked from this practice. I think in retrospect that starting the day with the time gesture sessions was not a good strategy. Warming up of having a video revision session and then moving on to the nude sessions would have been more productive. Day two, I started with Michael Hampton's book. The idea was to try and practice some fluid lines, advance a bit with some structure, and practice a bit in preparation for more timed practices. I also read and copied some of the structure as well. Then my kids woke up and saw that I was drawing and decided to be part of it. So we would put a one minute timer and they would attempt to hold the pose. The poses started rather stiff, but they gradually got a little better. The drawings were rather irregular, it felt even harder than drawing from a photo in the computer, but at least it was a fun way to do something together with my kids as I learned to draw. I tried two minute poses as well, but they did not get better. I think at that point we were all getting a bit tired and I also had to draw a funny unicorn. Next, it was the Robo Bean video. And that's when I implemented a routine for the videos that I think was very helpful. I started to draw the poses before seeing Broca's drawing. So I would pause the video, attempt a drawing myself, and later watch and copy Broca's version. It was good for me so I would understand if I had an idea of what was happening or I was completely off. So in blue here is what I drew before watching Proko, and then only after I watched Proko and drew his beans. I feel like the bean is depicted in my drawing, but my notes say start with the bean and then build the boxes because I went straight with the boxes. Now here is the same thing, my drawing and Proko's robo bean, which has more of a lean and it's more exaggerated. In this next page, my bean shows a foreshortening problem. The boxes were there, but I needed more overlap and a bigger rib cage to show the perspective. My notes say, this was a good exercise because I could see where I was failing and I could understand how to correct. So it was really good for me to draw what I saw and then see Proko because it's easy to copy him doing it and think, okay, I learned it, but trying first and then seeing the correction, so to speak, allows us to see how to better see what we are failing to see. I really need to overlap more and exaggerate the perspective because this is an issue. This happens here too. Therefore, I went back to Michael Hampton's figure drawing book to study and copy his version of the Robo Beans. It's good to study the structure, but not the same as trying to figure those things out by oneself during a timed figure drawing, which is what I did next. Lots of one minute poses. I feel they get better as the session goes. And of course, some poses are better than others. In this page, this one is two minutes. The others are one minute. 
Although in general I find things get a lot better with two minutes. Here we can see I was not satisfied with a pose and I attempted it again and it did not get better. It's not linear. Practice certainly brings improvement, but it takes time and patience and accepting a lot of bad drawings along the way. This is also why I'm showing absolutely everything because I feel some days things feel better, but oftentimes next day old mistakes resurface. Day five, I also took notes from Michael Hampton's book. First, get the gesture and build the structure over it. Some notes on weight distribution. But after that, there was the point about rotating cylinders being crucial for figure drawing. That's when I started to interfere with the flow of the curriculum. So Proko had already talked about structure and drawing the figure and the need of rotating boxes. And now it was Michael Hampton with cylinders. So I was like, okay, I need to get going with Drawbox because this understanding of working perspective will be crucial for progressing with structure and getting foreshortening, different views and all of that. That night, I started working on some draw box warm-ups that I remember from my past attempt. As I said on my previous video, I had already started draw box and abandoned it on lesson one. Day six, I started draw a box. I read lesson zero and saw the videos on YouTube and I also started doing lesson one with some lines, planes, and ellipses. I have not followed the submission requirements from Drawbox because I have already done lesson one before, so I wanted to work with it a little faster this time. But just reading, watching videos, and doing those exercises takes quite some time. I stopped here on the black ellipses on day six, and on day seven I did those pink ones as a warm-up. Still on day six, I did not want to completely skip figure drawing, so I watched Broco's mannequinization video and drew along. In this case, I copied his gesture base and then attempted the more structural additions on my own. Unfortunately, Proko did not show on YouTube how he would continue to build upon the gesture on this pose, so I couldn't compare it against mine or have a correction standard. But I was happy with my work anyway. Again, it's clear to see that it makes a big difference to start with a good gesture. All of the drawings here are examples in which you will see me and Proko labels on the drawings, meaning my attempt before seeing Proko draw and then my attempted copy of his drawings. The heads show me and Proko. On the top here, Proko just drew the bean, so again I couldn't contrast a full pose. But the robo being seems reasonably right, and the rest of the pose seems to work too. I could have emphasized the bend a bit more and have more of an overlap here, and that's again why I think Drawbox might help, but it's going in the right direction. Again, my attempt, and I consider this to be successful considering this is week two, and it was my attempt of capturing someone's pose rather than a copy of the model. But of course, there's a lot of room for improvement, line quality, structure, many things. This way of following the lessons makes it quite time consuming, but it really is a good exercise. I stopped doing this though in the next two drawings here and just took notes from what Proko was doing. In the next page as well, I tried to copy what he was doing and learn what to do. So that day, I practiced for about two and a half hours counting draw a box and Proko's mannequinization. The next day, I watched Proko's mannequinization steps video. Again, I attempted drawing the poses by myself before watching him and got to copy it later. Here I did not leave enough room for the lag and I could certainly have more of a lean. Also down here, Broca's drawing is a lot more interesting, but that's of course expected. Again, there's a lot to be learned, 
but my attempts were in the right direction. I then just stopped and wrote notes. One thing that I did this week that I hadn't done the week before was to draw and paint for fun. I found it rather frustrating to be just studying during week one. I did eight and a half hours on week one, but no drawing of my own. And this week I did eight hours of study. But this week I also deliberately made room for some watercolors and fun. I first painted this lady as I had this idea and I wanted to see how it would work. And I also tried to copy and learn from the work of an illustrator I really like, Quentin Gribin. My goal was to get a nice wash on the background without streaks, to really have a controlled, soft background. And for that goal, I think it was successful. I didn't go into a whole lot of detail in the other areas, but I was happy with the wash and it was fun to have some color and do something that was not like work. I would like to continue with some fun drawings and paintings and I also plan to incorporate draw box to the training because we did get to the point in which boxes and cylinders have to be rotated and proper manipulated to build a 3D figure. And it feels like I will need to get better at this in order to progress. I haven't even got to the boxes yet, so this will take a while and I also want to continue with figure drawing because I don't want to burn out and just do boxes and cylinders. So for week three, I hope we'll have a good mixture of the two. Thank you for watching. Bye.